Hi, this is Hani Riaz, if you don't know me. Uh, make scripture Pranungi and we'll just go from there. So, this is from Luke chapter 17, verses 3 and 4. So, watch yourselves. If another believer sins, rebuke that person. Then, if there is repentance, forgive. Even if that person wrongs you seven times a day and each time turns again and asks forgiveness, you must forgive. So what I would like to share is that many times when we read scripture, read karte hai, na, the first thing that comes to my mind is I have to forgive people. You know, People who have sinned against me, people who have wronged me, when they repent, I have to forgive them. Um, but I'm going to use my life ke, um, I'm use my life as an example because I know I've been through that and many Christians I'm sure go through this thing. Ke, as a Christian, jo hum log jo se pyar karte hai, we have given our hearts to the Lord. Uh, we serve the Lord, we want to do the best, we want to do whatever honors God, we want to live in the spirit and not the flesh, we want to honor the spirit and not the flesh, but many times when we fail, we're so hard on ourselves. So, um, for I'm just, as an example, if I lie, I beat myself up, you know what I mean, like, as a Christian, I feel like I know better, you know, I, I shouldn't have done this, but, this scripture, this Luke, it's Jesus, teaching his disciples ke itne times forgive karna chahiye. And that's in a day. Imagine Jesus, he's teaching his disciples about forgiveness basically. Ke this is how many times you should forgive. That's a lot. I mean, that's just unconditional forgi- un- uh, unconditional forgiveness basically. Imagine the jo khudavan, logo ko ye sikha rahe ke itna forgive karna chahiye. Wo hume kitna forgive karte honge. His mercies are new every morning. Mere saath yota, every time I fail, um, I, I go back and, you know, okay, how can I approach God today? And you know what this does is, this it keeps you away from the presence of God. You know, because you feel burdened, you feel condemned, and this is not from the Lord. The Holy Spirit convicts us, His goodness leads us to repentance. But the guilty feeling, it actually keeps us away from the presence of God. And Shaitan is not distant but um, there were a few things that I learned during the season when I fail and I'm sure many Christians when they fail I mean sometimes it's not big things like drugs or you know like major stuff like sexual sins or uh, cheating or deceiving sometimes it's just what I mean sin is a sin but I'm saying sometimes like just hurting someone's feelings um, word vomit or a slip of the tongue and you, you end up saying things and you're like oh man I messed up and then you're so hard on yourself. Many Christians do that. I've done that to myself. Like, honey, you know better. You, why, why, why? And when we feel condemned, it actually keeps us away from repenting because I think that I'm going to ask this thing tomorrow. I'm going to ask this thing tomorrow. So I want to talk about this uh, God who is teaching people about forgiveness. Imagine how forgiving He is. And again, I'm not going to share this you know, okay, this is a license to sin, like you keep committing sin, okay, grace sab ke saath hai. no, no, I'm, I'm not saying that, but when as a Christian we sin, it's it's just so hard to come to the terms that, man, I messed up. So there are two things I learned. First, the God who teaches the disciples to forgive so much, basically unconditionally, how much forgiving he is. First, you have to remember that. That should, that should one thing that, should, uh, that would lead you to repentance, repent right away. And then you have to think about it, you have to think about it, that you have to think about it, that you have to do the same mistake and then I ask God for forgiveness. God does not keep a record of sins. So this is one thing to remember. Your past is forgiven. You know, it's erased. It's no longer there. And it's not like the God has lost his memory. He chooses not to remember our sins. He, he says that I am going to say, I don't know how you say in Urdu, that I am going to say that I am going to say type of things. His mercies are new every morning. Every day is a fresh start, new beginning, it's clean slate. So we have no reason to stay away from the presence of God. Every time you sin, every time you make a mistake, and again, it's not I'm not saying it's a license to sin. You keep you know you know, keep this cycle. You sin and ask God for forgiveness, you do that. Not on purpose, but as Christians when we fail, quickly repent. You know, don't don't beat yourself up. Quickly repent, and God is God loves people who repent. So um, one of the uh, examples that um, stands out to me from the Bible, Kudavne David ke baare mein kata, he's a man after my own heart, and we all know he wasn't a perfect man. 
like us, you know, we read the Psalms and we see the condition of his heart. Sometimes he's like crying, sometimes he's complaining. But why did God say that he was a man after his own heart? I believe one of the reasons, I'm sure there are a ton of other reasons that he's a man after his own heart. But one of the things that stands out to me that he was a man of repentance or if you want to scripture, Psalm 51 clearly speaks about David's repentance. Read Psalm 51, how when David committed adultery and then he planned a murder for um, in that story after when Nathan prophet confronted him and um, David ka jo Psalm 51 that, that talks about repentance. So and what happens is when we repent, we can approach you know God boldly. You know, a scripture hai ke we can uh, we can boldly approach the throne of grace. This is where we find mercy. But the more we um, feel condemned, the more we feel guilty, the more it keeps us away from the presence of God. And the Bible says in His presence there is fullness of joy. Praise and God. Hum hai, because of our past mistakes, as Christians, our joy comes And the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. When we're not spending time in His presence, first we don't have joy. And when we jo don't have joy, we don't have the strength to do anything. And many times, to bohat say Christians, they actually backslide altogether. Okay, I'm not good enough. I mean, I have to live a perfect life. You know, otherwise I'm not worthy. But I just, so this message, my heart is specifically for Christians. When you mess up, don't be so hard on yourself. Be quick to repent, quick to ask God for forgiveness. He's so merciful. He's so kind. His goodness leads us to repentance. Shaitan condemn karta hai. But in Romans ki book, mein hai ke hume condemn nahi karte. Uh, there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. Shaitan condemned, we want to feel condemned, feel guilty, rahe, burden, rahe, weight on our shoulders. Rahe. But God wants to set us free from all guilt, from all shame. He wants us to just walk in forgiveness towards others as well. But more than that, we need to know that we are forgiven. And many times, Kudavan has forgiven forgive kar diya hai. We don't forgive ourselves. So one thing I want to encourage you, if you're a Christian and if you've messed up, if you've messed up uh, and you have repented but have not forgiven yourself, forgive yourself because God has forgiven yourself. And I want to take this opportunity to also um, talk about forgiving others while we are at it. If you have forgiven forgiveness, just forgive. And forgiveness is a choice. And that doesn't mean that what someone has done, you know, you prove that or what he did was wrong. You're just choosing to release that person. You're just choosing to walk in forgiveness because if we don't forgive, how can we expect God to forgive us? So let's Praise let's God. give people a fresh start as well in our lives, okay, new beginnings. And again, if there's a bad relationship with God, you've left you because of your unforgiveness, you're bitter, so forgiving doesn't mean you go back to something that God has set you free from. That's another thing. And if you haven't experienced God's forgiveness, you think that you're just up, basically, there's no turning back. Up, it's messed up. Kar chuke, toh bhi I'm telling you, you can come back. There is a God who forgives. And if you believe in our heart that Jesus is Lord and confess with our mouth that God raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. And you know what happens? We know, if I know if I were to die today, I would spend eternity with God in heaven. And I want you to invite to that type of relationship with God. Praise if you God. you've never given your heart to the Lord, this is the time. Come back. Jesus has already paid the price. Kudavan ka itna acha plan hai. John 3.16 lays out his plan that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And because of Jesus' finished work on the cross, you know, we know that we have forgiveness of sins. We have redemption. And the best part is Jesus is alive and he's sitting at the right hand of the Father interceding for us. In my last video, we talked about how Holy Spirit is our helper. Holy Spirit sanctifies us daily. He's our comforter. So um, I just want to pray that may you experience the unconditional love of the Lord and you experience the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is sufficient for us, and you live in the communion and fellowship of the Holy Spirit always. God bless you. Praise God.